In this video, we'll be exploring the back end of our Redwood WordPress blog theme. Our goal is to give you a broad overview of how Redwood can be customized via your WordPress dashboard. This may help those who are considering Redwood but would like more insight into what the back end looks like prior to committing. If you've purchased Redwood and are interested in tutorials on how to install and set up various elements of your theme, please be sure to check out our support article titled Beginning Basics – Getting Started with Redwood. I placed a link to this article below. To begin with a bit of a disclaimer, please note that all of our themes are WordPress.org themes. This means that our themes can only be installed on the free, open source WordPress.org platform. It only requires that you first secured web hosting and that the WordPress platform is installed onto your server. It's an easy setup process. If you have any questions at all about how to get started with the WordPress.org platform, you're very welcome to reference our article titled, How to Start a Blog. I've included a link to this article below. Alternatively, there's a private company called WordPress.com, which will host your site for you. However, they will only let you use themes from their own directory. You cannot use any of our themes with WordPress.com. Most of the theme's customization options are located within the Customizer section. You can find this by navigating to Appearance and then to Customize. On the left side, you'll notice a series of drop-down menus such as General Settings, Logo and Header Settings, Top Bar Settings, and more. We'll go through each of these sections to see how you can customize these elements on your own site. In the General Settings section, you'll notice an option to upload a fav icon image. This is the little icon which will represent your site in some web browser address bars or when your site is bookmarked. Next, there's an option to disable the theme's responsive CSS styling code. This will mean that your visitors need to pinch and zoom on mobile devices rather than the theme auto-adjusting to the more narrow screen width. The homepage layout segment gives you a number of layout options to choose from. WordPress will assume that your homepage is your page which displays your post feed or your blog. If you have a static page and a separate blog page, this home page layout option will apply itself to your separate blog page. The archive layout segment is the post layout for your archive pages, such as your category pages, tag pages, author's post archive page, etc. Next, you have three options regarding enabling or disabling your sidebar element on your home page or blog page, on your singular post pages, and on your archive pages. Lastly, you can choose to automatically apply an excerpt to your post to shorten their length on the home page or archive pages. Or you can choose the Use Read More tag option, which lets you manually decide where the Continue Reading link will appear in your post summaries. In the Logo and Header Settings section, you can upload your logo image. It will automatically override the theme's demo logo image. You can also adjust the top and bottom spacing that separates your logo image from the top bar element and the content beneath it. In the top bar settings section, you can choose to disable your top bar social icons or disable your top bar search function. Options to change your top bar's colors will come further down in the customizer's menu. In the featured area settings section, you can enable or disable your featured area slider. You can also set up your slider by having it pull in a certain number of your most recently published posts, pull in posts based on their category, or even hand select which posts and pages will be pulled into the slider. You can also adjust the number of posts to show in the slider and whether or not you want to hide the post category in the slider. The promo box settings section is related to the three horizontal box elements that appear below the featured area slider on our demo website. Here, you can enable or disable them entirely. Three segments in this section let you choose which image to use for each promo box. Give them a title of your choosing, and give them a linking URL of your choosing. You can also choose to hide the white border styling if you prefer. In the Post Settings section, you can choose to hide or display a variety of elements found in your posts, such as hiding the post's featured image from appearing at the top of the post by default, hide the post category, the post date, the author box beneath each post, etc. In the page settings section, you can choose to hide the social share buttons on your pages. 
Additional ways to customize your pages can be found on your Pages Edit screens. The Social Media Settings section is related to your social icons that appear around the theme. To add a social icon to your site, simply enter your username into the Related Social Networks field. Once a username has been entered, the social icon will automatically appear. In the Footer Settings section, you can change your copyright text or decide to hide the social icons which will appear there. The Menus option here is automatically added by WordPress to the customizer. To edit your navigation menu, we recommend doing so via your WordPress dashboard, Appearance, Menus. The next six customizer sections are related to color options. These include sections for your top bar area, your mobile menu, which is the menu that appears on mobile devices, your sidebar area, your footer area, your posts, and an accent color, which applies itself to a variety of elements around the theme, such as hyperlink text or category links. I'll quickly go through each of these sections visually so you can see the different color options. Feel free to pause the video in order to better read each color setting. The Custom CSS section is a box where you can insert CSS code you'd like to override the theme's default stylings. If you were to reach out to us via the support site with a question about adjusting something, we may provide you a CSS code to make it happen. You would simply copy and paste that code into your custom CSS box to apply it to your site. Like the Menus Customizer section, the Widget section is also inserted automatically by WordPress. To edit your sidebar widgets, we recommend doing so via your Appearance Widgets screen. Redwood has two widgetized areas, which you can add widgets on the left into. The sidebar widget area and the Instagram footer widget area. Redwood comes with a number of custom widgets for you to use. These include the About Me widget, the Latest Post widget, Facebook Like Box widget, and the Social Icons widget. Redwood comes with two required plugins which have been bundled with the theme. They are called Solopine Meta Fields and Vofpress Post Formats UI. You can install these plugins once you've activated the theme by following the prompts in the little notification banner that will appear at the top of your dashboard. To create a post, you can do so via your WordPress dashboard, Posts, Add New. At the top of the post, you can choose which of the four post formats you'd like to create. Standard, Gallery, Video, or Audio. Further down is a section titled Post Options. For the option within titled Post Layout, you can choose to enable or disable the sidebar on a post-by-post -post basis. Or, you can select the option titled Use Customizer Setting which will take on the sidebar setting you've selected within Appearance, Customizer, General Settings to either disable or enable the sidebar on posts. This way you don't have to change the setting each time if you prefer to be consistent with a certain layout. Below, there's an option to select a custom slider image. By default, the Featured Area slider will display the post's featured image. If you'd like the slider to display an alternative image for the post that it's not its featured image, you can select the image here. The post creation process is otherwise just like the default WordPress post creation process. When creating a new page via your WordPress dashboard, Pages, Add New, the setup is very similar to the post creation setup. 
you have the Page Options section which allows you to set an alternative custom slider image for the page. You can also choose whether the page has a sidebar or the featured area slider in promo boxes by toggling the drop-down menu titled Template. The Navigation Menu Setup Area is located via Appearance Menus. It's the same setup process as most other WordPress themes where you can add menu items from the left into your menu structure on the right. The theme supports one menu location, which is in the top bar element. To adjust which page your blog feed displays on and how many posts display per page, you can navigate to Settings, Reading, and edit the settings here. Redwood has a number of recommended plugins which implement some of the features shown on its demo website. We've included custom stylings for these particular plugins in the theme. You're welcome to use alternative plugins for these features, though they likely won't have the same stylings as the demo website. For example, we recommend installing the Contact Form 7 plugin to run the theme's contact form. For the newsletter widget option, we recommend the plugin called MailChimp for WordPress. For the Instagram widgets, we recommend the WP Instagram widget plugin. All three of the recommended plugins are free to install from the WordPress plugin directory. We hope this overview gave you a better idea of how the theme works on the back end. As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out and let us know. We'd be happy to help.